All right, this is fifth grade, module five, lesson eight. And in this lesson, the classroom portion, the concept development, involves a really neat investigation, problem solving, building some um, rectangular prisms out of a out of paper or card stock, and, and building some figures as long as it um, meets certain constraints. It's really kind of an interesting activity. This video is, of course, going to focus on the homework, which really doesn't connect directly to the investigation. Uh, super important math. It is connected in terms of volume and practicing, that sort of stuff. So let's get started on that. So it says, I have a prism with dimensions of this. And calculate the volume of the prism and then give the dimensions of three different prisms that each have a third of the volume. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out the volume of that original prism. So of course we're going to multiply and we know that 6 times 15 is 90 so 12 times 90 and that's really, I'm going to ignore that 0 for a second and 9 times 2 is 18 9 plus 1 is 10, and then bring that 0 down. So, the, so our volume is 1,080 cubic centimeters, all right? So that's the volume that is of, of our original prism. And now we need to know, well, what's one-third of that? So we learned in prior modules that one-third of... 1,080 means, uh, one shortcut for doing that is to divide. 1,080 divided by 3, and we're going to get 360. So we want these three volumes to be 360 cubic centimeters. And it says just come up with any, because it says right here, calculate the volume of the prism, then give the dimensions of three different prisms that each have one-third of the volume. So we need to come up with three values that when multiplied you get 360. Lots of choices here. One thing is I know that 36 times 10. So I'm going to say, well, here's my times 10. But I can't just put 36, because I need two numbers. So what times what equals 36? Well, 6 times 6 is 36. I could do another one. 9 times 4 is 36, times 10 is 360. And if I wanted to, I could leave the 9. So what I could do, oh, oh, I know, I know. Here's a kind of a cool one. I could take that 9 and I can factor it and make it a 3, right? 3 times 3. And I could take the other 3 as part of that 3 times 3 for 9. And I could multiply by the 4, so I get the 12 right here, and then times 10. So basically, if you think about what this is, this is 3 times 3 times 4. So I just took one of the 3's and multiplied it by the 4 and left the other 3 here. So that's a real shortcut, quick way of coming up with three possibilities for rectangular prisms that have a volume of 360 cubic centimeters. And here, SUNY, SUNY's bedroom has the dimensions of 11 feet by 10 feet by 10 feet. Her den has the same height but double the volume, give two sets of possible dimensions of the den. Uh, of the den and the volume of the den. Got it. Okay, so well, let's start with the bedroom. So the volume of the bedroom is length times width times height times height, which we are told is 11 by 10 by 10. So 10 times 10 is 100, and 11 times 100 is just 11 with two zeros. So there is our um, volume. So our volume is 1,100 uh, oops, 
cubic feet, not squared feet, cubic feet. Now we're told that the den has the same height, that's of course. Um, now, the way I kind of did it, length with height, so I kind of decided that the height was 10. Technically, we don't know. It could have been this 11 is our height. We really don't know because the order, um, multiplication is commutative, right? So, but I'm going to say that the height is 10. So I'm going to stick with that 10 being our height. But it's supposed to have double the volume. So now we're supposed to give two sets. So what is that saying? Well, the volume of the den, length times width times height. But we're told that the volume of the den is twice as big as this. So the volume of the den is 2,200. We don't know what the length is. We don't know what the width is. But we know that the height is 10 because we're told it's the same height. And over here, the height is 10. So I'm sticking with that right here. So we need to come up with two different possibilities for how these two numbers can be multiplied together and then multiplied by 10 to give us 2,200. Man, there are tons of options on how we could do that. We know that because we're going to multiply by 10, uh, we want this, these two guys, length times width, to equal 220. Because then when we multiply it by 10, we're going to get 2,200. So you just need to find two numbers that can be multiplied together to equal 220. And then you need to find another set of two numbers that when multiplied gives us 220. And that wraps up that problem. Really fun one. Here was 5th grade, Module 5, Lesson 8. Um, just kind of connecting to that sculpture activity. Um, and really, we're just practicing finding volume.